here at the cabin we really don't have good internet I'll show you what I do to get up to date here's my uh, tripod for shooting the uh, stars with a tracker head and simple wire antenna solar cell to charge the battery so this is a 2500 milliamp hour uh, 12 volt lipo it's really really lightweight and it can go for days I keep that up to date uh, topped up with a solar cell and then that drives the KX3. <clears throat> of course the KX3 is a top-notch receiver, uh, some of the best in its class. And this is a fully portable uh, configuration. It's in a camera bag, it carries really well. I have a LiPo battery that uh, will give me uh, 2500 milliamp hour and a 12 volt solar cell that'll keep that topped up. So this radio draws very little power, about 190 milliamps on receive. So you could do the math, uh, 2500 milliamps hour divide by 180. That's how much time I can get off of this battery just on receive. It's really, really economical. You might remember the video where I took this into the Alaska backcountry in the snow and uh, where there's very little infrastructure and it worked really, really well. Well, there's a nice tree right over there and um, it looks like I'll be able to, to get the wire up there, make it long and uh, sufficient length and then I'll set up the radio over here. It's a quiet spot, a little bit out of the snow or just around the, just around the corner here where I can actually get a little bit of shelter. And, uh, and in that tree over there I can put the antenna wire, make it a little bit more vertical which is more favorable for uh, reception of uh, signals from far away. Um, and so a vertical orientation will give me the lowest angle of radiation or lowest angle of reception which means I can receive the furthest distance signals uh, and we'll go into a little bit of uh, how that works with an antenna orientation so here we go this is United 141 Delta CPG OC heading over uh, New York next United 141 Delta you want to see the OC And that's really not too bad for a short piece of wire, 5,000 miles of receiving that signal. Uh, it's almost uh, halfway around the world, that's not too bad. Alright, enough of this snowy business already. So the antenna wire is fed into the radio with a 50 ohm coax connection and then that brings the signal into the receiver. I'll be dialing into the uh, BBC here, let's see if we can find some useful news for the day. BBC news with, uh, BBC so the BBC runs the BBC Africa service which obviously beams the signal towards the African continent which makes it really easy to uh, to receive these signals. Well now we know what's going to happen in the EU for today at least. So the BBC VOA uh, Africa service and there's a, f a few others that provide really good news and source of information during these times. This is how we do it. BBC World Service. Uh, we're navigating the world. Straight time, 21 TMT. All wrong. That's after the news. BBC News.